Well, my first guest joins me in studio. Mr. Shalish Shah is the CEO of SOM Incorporated. The stock symbol is SHMN. Uh, Shalish, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Well, now, really glad to have you here. Now, the company describes itself as a generic pharmaceutical uh, manufacturer. You're producing and marketing generic drugs, uh, basically covering all treatment categories. Uh, give us a general overview of the company, if you would, please. Yeah, sure. Basically, we are a branded generic uh, pharmaceutical manufacturer. Our office is uh, located in uh, California, and our manufacturing units are based in India. Uh, we basically cover almost all categories of uh, and dosage forms uh, manufacturing, uh, including uh, tablets, capsules, liquid, powder, ointments, injectables, and all. And currently, we have more than 300 uh, uh, product license to manufacture and uh, market, as well as export to different countries uh, like uh, African countries, as well as uh, South uh, East uh, Asia. Well, Shalish, through your manufacturing sites in India, of course, you are domestically distributing uh, product in India, as well as exporting to, as you mentioned, Latin America, Africa, Southeast Asia. Tell us about your distribution channels. Sure. We have basically uh, uh, set up our own distribution network in India. Currently, we have a distribution network in almost uh, eight states in India. We have almost... Uh, a strong field force of uh, 120 professionals in India. They are covering all states. Along with that, we have a uh, contract as well as uh, development and research uh, uh, agreements with uh, a couple of uh, multinational companies. And uh, basically, we are uh, having their uh, distribution network also. On exports front, uh, we have uh, agreements with uh, local uh, large distributor in respective uh, countries, and uh, they have their uh, network which we are using. And additionally, they are taking care of the local regulatory uh, compliances. You know, I've always been fascinated by the generic drug business. Of course, generic drugs can be produced once the original brand name patent expires. But how much testing and regulation do you have to go through before you can start manufacturing a generic version of a drug? Yes, sure. Actually, pharmaceutical manufacturing uh, is involves stringent uh, uh, test and uh, manufacturing process. Even though generic products goes off the patent, manufacturing process, stability data, and uh, quality control compliances remains the same as uh, like uh, original innovator. So manufacturing process needs to go through the same uh, process of uh, quality uh, control, stability, data, and uh, quality process. There are uh, FDA guidelines and ICH guidelines for manufacturing uh, generic uh, uh, products. And any, manufacture, any manufacturer who is uh, manufacturing generic products has to go through the FDA compliances uh, as well as the uh, ICH guidelines. So technically, if you look at it, the branded uh, product and generic products are almost similar. The company is SOM Incorporated. SHMN is their stock symbol now. Uh, Shalise, your company recently announced movement into both nutraceuticals and dermatology with your manufacturing facility in India. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, yes, it is a, a strategic move for our company. Taking over the uh, dermatology company, Novatrend uh, Medicament Private Limited, uh, we have entered into the dermat dermatology sector and uh, the Novatrend company has brought us almost 17 products and uh, out of 17 products six products are uh, introduced in uh, first time in india and along with uh, uh, product they have brought us the entire setup of uh, distribution network for seven states so it's not only a product but 
they have they have brought us the uh, innovative products and there are another 40 uh, new products in pipeline uh, for us which we are uh, going to introduce in coming years so that's a, a very strategic move for us uh, as a company to get into the dermatology sector as well as as well as dermatology sector was always uh, a kind of untapped market not many uh, uh, big companies are into it uh, so far. Well, how about the, uh, the nutraceutical side of it? Nutraceutical, nutraceutical unit, we have a 30 product lineup. We have already been uh, marketing these uh, products uh, before we went into the production side. And nutraceutical, uh, uh, recently, US FDA as well as Indian FDA has uh, changed the given the indication of changing the law and the guidelines. So there is a huge potential for us, for our uh, nutraceutical unit uh, to manufacture products for U.S. Uh, manufacturers. And we are already in a process of getting our uh, nutraceutical facility according to the U.S. FDA compliance. So there is a huge potential for us to get into the regulated market also. So that was another reason why we went into the nutraceutical facility. Well, that's, that's fascinating. What an opportunity. Now, I know that your, your marketing and distribution efforts are, have been concentrated mainly in emerging markets. Uh, tell us about the company thinking behind that. Sure. Soham focuses on unserved as well as underserved markets, which are also fast growing and we are directly concentrating in those markets as well as through the strategic uh, alliance with the uh, local companies. This region lacks a basic drugs and you know that branded uh, drugs are very expensive or they are not available in those region. So by Concentrating on this market, not only it is a business opportunity, but we feel by focusing on uh, this unserved and underserved market, we are providing and helping those communities in living healthy life in more affordable ways. You know, Shalise, uh, the domestic drug market in India is almost $5 billion. I think a lot of people uh, listening to us talk are probably unaware how big of an industry that is. Yes, uh, it is true, uh, uh, Don. Market size in India is almost uh, $5 billion, and it is directly related to the population. Nowadays, because of the awareness and because of the information is available to a large pool of people, uh, the market size and the awareness itself is going very high in India. And uh, in coming uh, years, it is more and more people are becoming uh, more uh, health conscious, which is also uh, increasing, I mean, uh, getting into the uh, big market for nutraceutical as well as pharmaceuticals. I think also a lot of people are unaware that India has like one and a quarter billion people living there. Correct, absolutely. Now, a peop I mean, now earlier it was considered as a problem for India, but now uh, countries like USA and uh, European uh, uh, companies are considering population as a big opportunity for them. Uh, in coming years. So a lot of uh, big companies are also concentrating on Indian markets nowadays. Well, Shalise, why is this a good time right now for folks to take a closer look at your company? Well, uh, good question, uh, Don. See, last two and a half years or three years, we have been uh, setting up the company, setting up the distribution channel. We have acquired a couple of companies. We have uh, now uh, received the uh, few FDA approvals from uh, southeastern uh, countries. So now it is a time for us to get on to the next level uh, as far as the uh, revenues are concerned, as far as the acquisitions are concerned, as far as the uh, 
expansion are concerned. So we are ready for uh, uh, next move for our company. Once again, the company is Sohm Incorporated. S H M N is their stock symbol. Uh, Shalise, we're going to be uh, we're initiating coverage of your company this week. We'll be watching you very closely over the next three months. Looking forward to more updates from you. I know you're getting ready to go to India. We hope you can check in with us while you're there. Uh, thanks so much for joining us on the program. Fascinating Thank you, interview. Thank you. Thank you, Don.